For today, at least, Sean, there was no escape in that wind. Yeah, not at all. The wind was uh, a bit of an issue today, and uh, fortunately, the wind is done for. It's going to continue to gradually decrease here through the night and tomorrow, even though it is going to be colder, it's not going to be windy. Right now, we're uh, still at about 10 to 15, a couple spots, maybe up to 20. Notice Algona is still at 22, gusting to 25, but overall, the wind is uh, improving considerably as we speak tomorrow. It's going to be colder. Highs only in the upper 30s to low 40s tomorrow, but it is not going to be windy tomorrow. So not a blustery day. We are going to warm up through the weekend and then next week uh, is going to be just incredible with temperatures climbing into the 50s to 60s and we're going to stay there for most of the week next week. Live view here from Bethany. We are mostly clear to partly cloudy right now. 43 the temperature wind out of the west at 12 here in Mankato. That does still make it feel a little cooler at uh, 37. We've been pretty dry too. That was an issue with the, the dry fall harvest leftovers out there and the uh, wind uh, the fire danger was a bit elevated through the day today that may be the case at times next week as well because we haven't had a lot of moisture lately but uh, things uh, still going to continue to gradually improve here through the night 43 in Mankato 44 in Blue Earth 41 was in uh, Waseca 40 in Redwood Falls Wyndham at 37 it's already 34 in Slayton it is going to get cold tonight with a clear sky temperatures are going to gradually drop down into the low 30s and as we make our way through the night uh, the scattered clouds that we did have are going to continue to push out of here as well so should be a mostly clear night here through the night tonight and as we bring in our map this front continues to move off to the east and as that front moves out the wind is going to die down but we're going to get that secondary punch of colder air that's kind of coming in here behind that front and that's going to move in tonight through much of the day tomorrow and then finally as we head into saturday we're going to start to See things go the right direction and uh, warmer temperatures are going to take over. You can check the wind uh, as that front moves out. Notice that through the night we're going to drop a single digit sustained wind here through tonight and for much of the day tomorrow. So it's not going to be terribly windy, but again, average high of 47. We're going to be well below that tomorrow with a high of 40, Saturday 47, and then we're going to go crazy. This is the good stuff right here with highs in the 50s, even 60s. That uh, Tuesday, Wednesday time frame, we may see a few spots even closer to Mankato, up to 65 with areas far southwest. I'm talking Okaboji, Spencer, along the Minnesota South Dakota line. 70? Not out of the question. Uh, we're going to definitely have some warmer air, but uh, we're going to see the temperatures, although they will drop a bit by late week, stay above average through most of next week and beyond. Here's the jet stream. We're still on the north side of the jet, so some of that cooler air still tomorrow into Saturday. But watch what happens. As we roll into next week, this jet stream moves north. We get a nice ridge here, and all that warm air comes soaring in, and uh, it's going to be nice. 30, not as windy, mostly clear tonight. Northwest at 5 to 15 on the wind. 40 tomorrow, it's going to be colder, but not windy, partly cloudy. Uh, 5 to 15 again on the wind tomorrow. Saturday, 47. Sunday will be breezy, but it's that south wind that's going to bring some of that warmer air in with a high of 56. And then as we take it down the road next week, how about that? Uh, 55 Monday, 62 Tuesday, 61 Wednesday.